Okay, okay, time to break the internet again. As of today, I never thought I was saying this, but as of today, November 28, 2018, Blender, 20 years later after it went online, it's now left click select by default. So what does it mean? Well, in Blender, since forever, when you open it and you start trying to select things with left click, it would position this very nice, ugly red and white thing. It's very helpful, but it, the design could have some work. Then you will realize that, oh, it's the other click that actually selects. So right click select is a decision that was made since the beginning of Blender in order to ease, to have a better, a clear distinction between uh, the, what is a selection and what is the action or canceling the actions and executing commands and have a nice spread, um, like more even, evenly spread um, pressing of your, your clicks in the mouse with the nice, your finger, right? It's good for you. But it's not good if you're switching with your other software. It's not really good if you're using a, a pen, tablet, for example, a stylus or a trackpad or um, basically any device in the world. So a lot of people have been changing it to left click because Blender got support for left click uh, select uh, over the years, but it was mainly a hack. It wasn't the clearest, nicest uh, way of, of making it work. It was like if then, if it's in this um, editor, so it wasn't very clear. In 2.8, since we changed so much the interface and the way that people interact with Blender, and it, it just, just feels like the right moment. So under the hood, now everything is a bit more clear. There is a nice separation between left click, right click. If you're making add-ons and you were making some hacks with it, so you have to read the docs in order to update it. But uh, what does it mean for right click select people? Well. Not much, you just open Blender and in the splash screen you will find that you just switch to right, save your settings and voila, you're done. If um, you left it, leave it with left click, then you will be greeted with a more familiar way of clicking on things to select. Then you can uh, click on a box, like click and drag to, um, to draw this box and select everything within it. And you can even click outside of that, of uh, whatever, when there's nothing in the viewport to deselect. So this is not just a feature for left click. Don't, don't think we're making left click better. Right click is still as good. So you select with right click, then you draw a box, and then you select outside and that still works. And even with left click, you can still have this beautiful, perfectly designed uh, 3D cursor to, um, to, to position to use as a pivot. And, that will be the way of working in with it. So yeah, it's a best of all worlds for people that are just coming with Blender or they're using a pen or they're using these weird devices. It will be such a relief to not being to not start fighting with Blender since day one, right? And for people that are like me, I'm used to right click select. I still think it's a, it's superior and more efficient way of working. But you can just change the right click and save your settings, and you're done. Also from this uh, splash screen, you can also change what the spacebar is going to do by default. So now the default is playback. So if you press space, I will play. Space again stops the animation uh, back and forth. But if you want to change it the way it was in 2.7, you can select search and it will search things automatically. And uh, the last one is tools, which is it's been the default in 2.8 for a while. Basically it spawns the same um, sidebar we have here with the tools, but with a few uh, additions because you can hold, click and hold to um, to select some of the tools, some of sort of like a pie menu. And also the all the tools here have a shortcut, even when it's not, um, it's not present here usually, like on the regular way of working. While this pop-up is open, then uh, you have new shortcuts assigned. So it's pretty, pretty efficient way of working, but it's not very, um, consistent with the rest, right? So it's an option. So you have nice these few options, save your settings. And once you're there, if you change your mind, you can always go to the user preferences and change it in uh, the input. Under input here, you can just uh, change the selection, the search, or even change the way. Remember in 2.7 when you could press A, to select A again, to deselect, or the other way around. It was never very clear. You had to do it twice. Well, that beautiful behavior is also available with a toggle. Here's an option, basically, the 2.7 way of doing it, things. The 2.8 way of deselecting is uh, Alt-A, basically. So A always selects, and 
Alt A always deselects. So that's pretty much it. It's a it's a big change, um, especially for people just arriving to Blender. I think it's a great great addition. It's uh, more welcoming. It works with more devices. It's all more on a happy ending. And for those of us that are used to the two point um, uh, to do the always way of working, right click select is still available, and it won't be um, like it won't fade away, it will still be maintained. So this will force developers to make left-click select uh, more efficient and more um, more behaving like the regular way of, of, of doing things within Blender and even with other applications. So that's it for now. I think uh, the next time you see me, we are going to be in, in beta because beta is literally around the corner. Um, it like literally, I mean, because the project manager practice is here around. I have to go out of my office and around. And uh, that's where the beta is going to be released, but it's going to be online, of course. So stay tuned, download Blender, and test it how if everything is OK. Um, and otherwise, wait until tomorrow, and there will be a beta for you to play with or the day after. So <laughs> stay tuned. And I will see you again in the next beta, no, video.